Apple just had their It's Glow Time event. And let's talk about what they unveiled. It started with the Apple Watch Series 10, which they labeled as the big time upgrade. Apple say said this is their biggest display for the Apple Watch, as well as their thinnest. It comes in two stunning finishes. The first one including the jet black aluminum, similar to the iPhone 7, as well as the polished titanium. And now you can get sleep apnea notifications, but that'll be coming later on in the fall. They also stated that this is the fastest charging Apple Watch, providing you 80% of battery with just 30 minutes of charging. You can pre-order the Apple Watch right now, but it is available on September 20th, starting at $399 for the aluminum and $699 for the titanium. You can choose the aluminum 42mm for $399 and the 46mm for $429 and the titanium 42mm for $699 and the 46mm for $749. The aluminum finishes come in jet black, rose gold, and silver, while the titanium finishes come in natural titanium, gold, and slate. Both are available in three band styles, rubber, textile, and stainless steel. Also, the Apple Watch Ultra 2 unveiled in a stunning black finish, and it allows you to have 36 hours of battery life, as well as 72 hours if you're using low power mode. You can also pre-order this today if you'd like to, but it will be available on September 20th for $7.99. Again, it comes in the natural or black finish. You can choose between these bands right here, the Alpine Loop, Trail Loop, Ocean Band, or the Titanium Milanese Loop. Apple also unveiled the AirPod 4 in two models, active noise cancellation and non-active noise cancellation. You can pre-order the AirPods today, but they'll be available on September 20th. Again, they come in regular version and also a version with active noise cancellation for 179. They come in a smaller case, charged with USB-C and have 30 hours of listening time. New colors of the AirPod Max also unveiled. They come in a new blue color, purple, midnight, starlight, and orange, and it'll be for $549. And it also charges with USB-C. The AirPod Pro 2 also includes three new features, one including hearing protection, hearing tests, and now the AirPod Pro 2 can act as a hearing aid. Pretty cool. Next, Apple unveiled the iPhone 16, coming in new vibrant colors. You can choose your new iPhone today and then speed through the checkout when pre-order starts at 5 a.m. on the 13th of September. But it will go for $7.99 for the iPhone 16 and $100 more, $8.99 for the Plus model. The iPhone 16 comes in a 6.1 inch display, while the iPhone 16 Plus comes in a 6.7 inch display, both including Apple Intelligence. They come in new vibrant colors, including ultramarine, teal, pink, white, and black. As you see here, we have the iPhone 16 Pro with the new 6.3 inch display and the iPhone 16 Pro Max with a new 16.9 inch display. The 16 Pro starts at $9.99 while the 16 Pro Max starts at $11.99. You could also choose your new iPhone today and then speed through the checkout when pre-order starts at 5 a.m. PET on September 13th. It comes in the brand new Desert Titanium, Black Titanium, white titanium, and the natural titanium. If you choose to go for the iPhone 16 Pro, the storage starts at 128 gigs for about $999 and goes all the way up to one terabyte for $1499. And if you choose to go for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, you start with 256 gigabytes of storage starting at $1199 and it goes all the way up to one terabyte for $1,599. Differences between the iPhone 16 as compared to last year's iPhone 15 are the action button, the new capture button, and the A18 chip being used. And here's the current 2024 iPhone lineup, starting with the iPhone SE all the way to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. The vertical layout, which is different than last year's diagonal layout. The new camera layout button, which is featured on the right side of the iPhone. And this year's iPhone 16 does not have the mute switch button. Instead, it has an action button. It includes an A18 chip for faster processing. The 5X telephoto lens is finally on the regular iPhone 16 Pro. Instead of being exclusively for the 
max. You can now shoot with 4K 120 frames per second on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It includes the 18 Pro chip for faster processing. It also includes a 48 megapixel ultra wide lens for clearer photos. You can now merge tracks on voice memos for music creators. There are new cases for the new iPhones that have been unveiled. And also Apple Intelligence will be releasing next month in its beta form. iOS 18 will be unveiling September 16th and it will be available to the iPhone SE number two, SE number three, iPhone XR, all the way until the iPhone 16 Pro Max. All right, see you. Peace.